Great morning, had the delicious banana bread for breakfast and then went for a swim in Lake Malawi. What can be better? This can be better. A cookie made entirely out of flies or nkungu as locals call it. A rare delicacy that can be found in the coastal villages of northern Malawi. We were staying in Chitimba so we had a good chance of finding this treat. Our hunt wasn't successful yesterday but we were invited for lunch by a local guy called Winner. He promised to get us the mighty nkungu. A lot of stuff going on today. We were invited for a lunch by a local priest here. You may have seen it in the last vlog. And we will also try to search for the fly cake. That's a cookie from the lake flies. But I guess we will not be successful as the weather is really hot and nice today. And that's not a good weather for catching flies. Well, I really, really hope we could find at least one of the fly cakes because that would be so interesting. So we are going to Winner's house for the lunch. He promised to cook kondole, that is uh, one of the national meals of Malawi. And it's basically a cassava flour mixed with boiling water into a wide big thing that looks like dough and it has no taste. Yeah, mm, yummy. Let's go, very excited. It's really, really hot today and I didn't take any sunscreen. I'm really suffering. And this means only one thing, there are no fly cakes. Do you have kungu? Do you have? No! Oh, no kungu, right? They don't have kungu. Kungu? Yeah, I have nothing kungu to do. Oh no! We got a little bit lost. Oh yeah! <laughs> This is where he lives. Oh, I can see the entrance. This house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the nice entrance. I got some butter. Hi. Hi, winner. Thank you. Thank you. Most welcome. Thank you so much. So we came. Nice. Most welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Ladies and gentlemen, there's no Nkungu today, but. Winner! Winner knows one family in Chitimba in this town that kept Nkungu. So we have Nkungu, we have the fly cake. This is amazing. Okay, I'm gonna try it. To be honest, I don't really like the smell. So let's try it. That's Nkungu. Sorry, sorry. So, yeah. oh, is it good? <laughs> <laughs> oh wow. I think it would be good if I didn't know it's flies. Yes. But I know it's flies. Uh, <laughs> oh wow. But I know it's flies. That's in my head like I'm eating flies, you know? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm eating flies. Now I need to swallow it. <laughs> oh, I really don't want to swallow it, but I will try. Should I collect some some cold water? It's okay. Or, 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 I, I brought or, some water. Or a bottle. He's just. Don't worry. You can. Ah, oh, it's there. <laughs> All right. Very small. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Sure. That's really good. You know, Peter got a big. Yeah, I got a big piece <laughs> of Nkungu. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, little by little, you. What do you think? You know. <laughs> <laughs> so, these small pieces, as you can see, are kind of thick. So, that means the um, they didn't spend that much time on fire. And the center is, is actually raw. It's raw flies. That means it can get bad after like three days. Sure. Yeah. And these, these ones, these are thin. Yeah. So it can last like, I don't know, seven, eight days. That's a great <laughs> thing. More than a week, yeah. Yeah, so I can actually bring this to my family. <laughs> and my mom, my friends, my dad, they will all try 
the Malawian specialty, yeah. Mkungu. It's a bit salty and it tastes, I don't know, a little bit like fish, yeah. I think. Yeah. A little bit like fish. I guess it's because the flies are flying near the lake. Yes, from the lake. Yeah, yeah it's, it's the lake flies, maybe that's why. But it doesn't taste that bad. No, no, no. The thing is, I know I'm eating flies. That's the problem. That's the problem. It's always in my head, like hundreds of flies in this. Nkungu. So this is the cassava flour. Yes. So the water is boiling. Yeah. We are putting the cassava flour into the boiling water. This is enough now. Okay. And now we just stir. Mm. It's okay. All right. Yes. Oh, that's the raw cassava! Yes! Oh, so this is what Kondole is made <laughs> from. This is cassava, also known as yuca. It is dried and then crushed to a powder from which we make condole. So we're gonna have the condole with fish? Yes! Wow! <laughs> that works! This is incredible! <laughs> wow, look at this! <laughs> Teresa is cutting vegetables. We cut the cassava and we're going to roast it. This is how it looks. It smells amazing and it's really, really soft. We cut the vegetables. The fish are being fried. Wow, everything is just so good at this moment. Fish is ready. Look at this fried fish. It looks smells, crispy. looks crispy and it smells amazing. I could have started onions. Tomato sauce is ready, the condole is ready, the fish is ready. Mm, we have a dessert here. Look at this, eating local food with winner, a local man from Malawi. Oh, unbelievable. I'm really speechless right now. Bon appetit. This is the best thing I've eaten since I came to Africa. The tomato sauce is incredible. The fish is a little bit smoked and the condole much better than Tanzanian ugali made out of maize flour. As a dessert, we have roasted cassava. Roasted cassava. Mm -hmm. Let's try this. Now it's hard now. It has, be, it, it, it has become... Yummy. <laughs> mm. Mm. So a bit sour, but I like the taste. It's really good. Mm. So pop some leftovers into the microwave and shut off the phone. It's time again for MTV Cribs. Welcome back. This is our big what? Yeah. Sitting, sitting room. Sitting room. So this is my friend's room. I'm oh. living with someone from Zimba, my friend, okay. my friend, and this is his room. Okay. Sure, this is his room. All right. <laughs> A simple room, eh? Yeah, but <laughs> he has everything. Does he sleep uh, on the ground? No, no. He use this, he use this, this, this mat. Oh, yeah, okay. Yes. All right. This is his mat. All right. <laughs> so he's doing school, he's doing secondary. Okay. Yes. He's, oh, he's, so he's young. He's studying from four this, this year. Okay. Sure. Uh, and this so is wait, your room? This is my room. Uh, this is my room. I'm, oh, I'm, you read a lot. I like reading. Wow. And you have a computer. Uh, that is... It, wow, you it, have it, a it computer. It is not fun, functioning. It's not functioning. Oh, uh, oh, you read a lot. Yeah. I study. I study. Oh, oh so that's good. Books. That's I good. Study. I like that. <laughs> I like that. I study. I study. So many books. I like studying. 
Yeah. Wow. This is my room. <laughs> yeah. It's good. Simple. So the bathroom? Yeah, it's outside. Wow. <laughs> A sponge. You got everything you need. Let's see the toilet. Oh, okay. Oh, don't fall down. Don't fall down. Have a look at this. That's a big, big spider. I know that you like football. Yes. So this is the jersey for Slovak football teams from my country. Sure. This is the logo of my country. This is Slovakia. Sure. And this is what we wear when we play football. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> so this is for you, so you will remember. Yeah, I should remember. You will you. remember us. Yeah, it's a gift from both of us. Yeah. Yeah. I, I brought it here to Tanzania. Sure. And just like to, to have it on me as a Slovak guy, I, yeah. I didn't plan to give it to someone, but you're the guy that yeah. I need to give it to. Thank you yeah. very much. <laughs> you're the guy. Thank you very much. I will enjoy it. Yeah. I will enjoy the gift. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Come here. <laughs> well, we Thank really you enjoyed much. your gift. So this is Slovakia. 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 Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Give me a hug. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so much. You Thank made you our stay <laughs> so good. Yeah. Thank Ciao. you so Ciao. much. I think no explanation is needed. Words cannot explain. That was the highlight of our whole trip. That was the highlight of the last two months in Africa. You've seen it. No words needed. Oh, and by the way, the fly cake was extremely disgusting. That was one of the worst things I've ever eaten. And I ate surströming. And also moruga, the hottest pepper in the world. <laughs> I'm having a chewing gum right now because the horrible flavor is still in my mouth. It was really bad. It tasted like fish, like a bad fish. But after that, the lunch was amazing. Uh, I had to delete everything, all the videos of getting to the pickup point because I was taken away by a police officer because I was making a video in his presence. He was standing like 50 meters from me and so he was really, really small, well, almost invisible in the video. But they took me to office. I was there for like 20 minutes. They were questioning me some really absurd questions like what is my church? They let me out without any fine. So I'm here, going to Karonga. <laughs> oh, oh. So fortunately we found Hilton in Karonga and we were greeted by a really beautiful shower. Anyways, um, today was definitely the best day of our African trip. We experienced Malawi at its best. First, uh, lunch with the local guy. Winner was an unbelievable person. Uh, he was a Jehovah Witness and he didn't want anything for the whole lunch. He paid a lot for that, we know, because we know the local prices and that was just amazing. Then uh, I was taken to a provisional police station by a police officer for making a video 50 meters away from him. And then we experienced the local minibus uh, with 30 people and a chicken. So. What a day. Tomorrow we are leaving Malawi. I'm gonna have some final words in tomorrow's vlog. This is an amazing country that really deserves more than it has. But I will tell you more tomorrow. There's a really big hole in our mosquito net. We had to fill it with a sock. And we're going to sleep. What a day. See you tomorrow.